think he felt that he could do the same as he was doing, but on his own. So he wasn't, because he, he felt, I think he, he felt he'd done all the work to make the band successful. And I think it was really, I mean, the excuse he gave at the time was that it was, uh, he didn't want to be public pro property and he didn't want to be, he just wanted to do what he wanted to do. And uh, with that sort of people mobbing him in the streets and things like that, and he didn't like touring at all. But I mean, he's done that since. So I just think basically felt rightly so really that he could he could because he was a good songwriter and a good musician that he could he could do it on his own well there was a lot of things that were said at the time about vince being sort of um fed up with the whole sort of thing of having to do tv and having to sort of go on tour all the time and far too many commitments really for vince to uh you know th th he could feel that he could keep really he didn't he didn't want that sort of um i don't know responsibility really um I think that was the main thing. He felt that he was just getting closed in. And Vince is quite individual in his ideas. He's very strong. He was very strong-minded at that time. He was the one, really, that was driving the band at that time. He wanted success, desperately, I think. He was having to consult with, you know, three other people on everything. And um, maybe he felt that his ideas were being squashed because of that. Um, various things were said at the time, but I think the real re that, was, that was the reason. He just felt a lot of pressure. Looking back, we should have been really scared, and you know that it was going to be all over. But it, we just carried on, basically. Oh.